Brazil has recorded almost 2,000 new COVID-19 deaths and more than 70,000 new infections in a single day. The country's hospitals are on the verge of collapse with a recent government report finding intensive care beds in most of the hospitals in the capital are at a more than 80% capacity. Reporter Paulo Cabra has the story. An intensive care unit in Rio de Janeiro, the front line of Brazil's battle against COVID-19. Patients receiving vital medication and precious oxygen, intubated and struggling. Units like this one are some of the most dangerous places in the world, and these healthcare workers are exhausted. 37-year-old Otavio Chagas is the head of the coronavirus unit at the Saint Jean de Medici Hospital. He has been working 120 hours a week for over a year now. He's worried Brazil's massive second wave, thought to be linked to the highly infectious P1 coronavirus variant, has now started to affect younger people. What we are seeing is extremely sad. People aged 35, 40 and 50 are becoming seriously ill or dying because of the disease. When asked if he thought about taking some time off, Otavio's answer was blunt. If we or anybody else on the medical staff abandon their on-duty shifts, who is going to do our work? The majority of hospitals across Brazil are near the breaking point. Medical supplies are run low, ICUs are at full capacity and some patients can't get beds. Suffering from an almost total healthcare collapse, Brazil is now running out of doctors, nurses and support staff. Why? Because so many have already died. Altair Suarez, the hospital's director, says oxygen, medicine and antibiotics are periodically running out. But it's the death toll of health workers that has him most alarmed. So many health professionals have died from this disease in Brazil. The cost has been and remains tremendous for these workers who are living this pandemic day in and day out and seeing its effects firsthand. 24-year-old Vanessa Carvalho, a nurse technician, decided she had to cut her 60-hour week in half. She was mentally exhausted but determined to keep working as much as she could. It's love that brings us to work. For me, it's not about the money. We are in the middle of a pandemic. If it were about the money, I would stay at home. We are here because we really love what we do. In return, she says she would like people to take the pandemic more seriously and follow recommended safety measures. She says that, too, can save lives.